Hello, me speak out Sam Possible. Me guys, my name is Taffrey16. Welcome back to another reaction video, and I welcome my second reaction to the good life. So, if you are among the people who usually skip my talking point at the beginning here and just go right to the reaction video, first of all, rude. Second off, if you're still here at this point, hold on a second, because there's something I want your opinion on. So, the last episode, I was able to get this on YouTube. I had to cut one scene, which was possibly the most significant scene in the episode um, and put it on VO, but I was able to get it on Daily Motion or on YouTube, the rest of it. Here's the thing. I've noticed a pattern. When I uploaded this episode that I'm about to watch to test it, it also seems that in order to get this on YouTube, I can upload most of it, but cut, which is probably the most significant scene. I haven't seen it yet, so it's just a guess, but I have to cut the dinner party scene, according to the copyright claim. Uh, what that entails, I guess I'll find out. So it seems that I can get this on YouTube as long as I cut out the most significant scene in the episode and put it on a third party website. So my question to you is, is that worth it? Let's say I continue doing this show. Is it worth it to get the rest of it on YouTube and then you go to a third party website and watch the most significant scene? Or would it be better off for me just putting the whole thing on third party? Uh, let me know your opinion on that. But the first episode of this, it definitely threw me off a little bit just because it was not what I am used to in terms of British television. But I was told by a lot of people that the show gets a lot better past the first episode. Uh, and uh, so I'm willing to give it a chance past that, which is why we're watching episode two. Say little hen. What's that in the back here? Is that a person? Oh, it sure is. Come on. And the goat. <laughs> you might want to clean that trunk, brother. We well, just got no grass at all, don't you? Come on, come on. Can you go in there? Oh my lord. Yeah, don't give me those Google eyes. I saw you eat that dog's ball. <laughs> oh lord. Sounds like it's going great in there. What are you doing, MacGyver? I'm flying mine from Dover, coach. Why the... Um... This, flying glass. Pick VG. I mean, it doesn't really look like a chicken house, does it? Not yet. It will when I've boarded it up. You carry on, I'll get the wood. I say, you look utterly ridiculous. Honey town. <laughs> Hello, Margot! Bruh. Oh, there she is. I've been told a lot about this kid. Jerry! Jerry! I've been told Jerry. she might be the best character. Jerry, she's smashing glass. She sure is. Oh, that's nothing. You should have seen Tom on the common with the goat. Why can't he go after dark? He's within his rights. It's common grazing land. Maybe. You don't find other people in the district grading their cattle out there. Is it goat cattle? That's beside the point. No. Why can't you have a dog like everyone else? Dogs don't have udders. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, don't be obtuse. You know very well what I mean. I must say, it was funny with the Pekingese, though. What are you talking about? What was? On the common. Fetch the ball ball, Princess Ty. Of course, the ball ball runs up to the goat. Princess Ty follows the ball ball, and the goat eats it. <laughs> oh, my God. No, not the Pekingese, the ball ball. <laughs> well, I hope you drove on. I gave Tom a lift. And? Oh, yes, uh, and the goat. Couldn't leave it to run behind the car, could I? <laughs> well, thank you very much, Jerry. I shall not set foot in that car again until you've had it thoroughly validated. That's what I'm saying. Goats are filthy animals. They're hairy and smelly. 
They've got diseases. Well, I'll tell you what. Alan got up. Well, we'll stave right. off infection with a glass of gin. It looks a little early to start boozing, Jerry. Oh, right. Well, I'll have yours. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Barbara ruining a perfectly good greenhouse? They're converting it. They're going to keep chickens. Chickens? Yeah. Does the Residents Association know about this? I really don't know. Well, they should. This whole thing is getting entirely out of hand. It's like living next door to gypsies. Perhaps we'll get some clothes pegs for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny, Jerry. It's kind of funny. We all know you think it is. Well, as a matter of fact, I don't. Tom's a friend. He's chucked up a perfectly good job for this insane notion of self-sufficiency. It's doomed to failure. We all feel sorry for him. Why? Well, is that your idea of rational behaviour? Poor fellow's obviously had some sort of brainstorm, a breakdown even. I'm sorry. If he chooses to have a nervous breakdown, that's his business. Don't think really <laughs> why you should inflict it on the fair point. Barbara. They do seem quite happy, though, don't they? A facade. No, no, no. They are heading for degradation, misery and squalor. We have to live next door to it. Yeah, well, tough shit. Kiss a lift, lady. I can't get it started. How's it coming? Have a whiff. <laughs> what has that girl been eating? Dog's balls. Oh, <laughs> uh, sorbo ones, you know. But anyway, I mean, goat's milk is supposed to smell a bit. Well, it's supposed to smell a bit. No, I think it's coming on very well. Well, it looks right. Just imagine our own goat's butter. <laughs> can you have goat's butter? We'll sure. Find out. Where's the turps? I can try. Pink. You painted our chicken house pink? Yes. Have you put little chintz curtains up at the windows as well? Now, look. I'm not doing a Beatrix potter, just that we happen to have some old paint in the shed and it happened to be pink. We're economizing from that. Company. Ah, yes, now, talking of economy, I've been going through the check stubs for the big shopping you do at the weekends. They average out at about 15 pounds. Mm -hmm. Now, look at this. Come here. Now, I've cut out all the luxury stuff because we can't afford it. Things like pate, right? Right. Nevertheless, all the things on here are the less expensive but high nourishment foods. Okay. I know we've got to buy food until our own grows, but the more we can do to spin out our kitty, the better. Right. Now, this list I've made out will keep us perfectly well fed for 10 pounds. You want to go back to churning? Why? I did the shopping this morning <laughs> for eight. Oh. <laughs> eight. Got him. Right, come on. <laughs> Whoa. What? What's going on? Hold up. Bro, you're getting memed on twice. Oh! <laughs> Could be the man without chickens. I'll go. Chicken, no, chicken, no, 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 Cock a doodle doo. Boo. He's not queer, he's a Bolshevik. All right, Lenin, come on, come on, out, come on, let's have you out. You must be hanging on to the sides. Oh, blow you then, stay there. There you go. I see. It's going to be a battle of wits between us two, I can see that. Oh, one's gone inside. Quick, she's going to lay. How do you know? Well, she might be. Oh, look. This is just chicken voyeurism. Oof. No. Patient, aren't we? <laughs> look, let's leave them some food and let them get on with it. Clang. I forgot to get the grain. Have you got any scraps? Yes, it's Why did you say it. clang? For the dustmen? Well, not personally, but if they want them. Look, I told you before, we don't give scraps to dustmen ever, right? Refuse is not rubbish. They eat it. The goat will eat it. When we get the pig, it'll probably eat the dustmen for us. <laughs> I look really stupid in that swimming mask, didn't I? Get the scraps. A little bit. That one's got a limp. <laughs> That's fine. Don't want to walk it off. Margo, wait! You're not throwing that away, are you? It's yesterday's. Well, that doesn't matter. May I have it? You want this? Yes, please. There's a lot of nourishment in there. Well, of course. <laughs> Very welcome to it, Barbara. Lovely. I'll give you the plate back. Yes, of course. Thanks. <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> Jerry, you'll have to do something. Yeah, you might have to, Jerry. Jerry. Nah, Jerry's vibing. Jerry. I said you'll have to do something. 
<laughs> well, do something about what? Poor Barbara is now reduced to begging for scraps. Oh, that's all right. I've taken steps. Sleepwalking, presumably. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been thinking about what you said about Tom and Barbara heading for hard times. Degradation, misery, and squalor is what I said they're heading for. Well, yes, I don't know what that means. Even that. I mean, all right. Well, they're happy. Perhaps lemmings are happy as they rush towards the edge of the cliff. So I've taken steps. Have you actually covered any ground? <laughs> yes, I phoned the boss and asked him and his wife to come over for dinner. Oh. Right? Now I go and ask Tom to come over here for drinks at the same time. Okay. I tell the boss what a wonderful draftsman he's lost in Tom and hey presto, the boss offers Tom his old job back again. Nice. And the avenue stops. He's not gonna take it though. Because you're misunderstanding the situation. Very good, Jerry. Very good. <laughs> when did you arrange dinner for? Tonight. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jerry. What's wrong? What's wrong? I need at least three weeks if I'm going to entertain a managing director. That's what's wrong. At least three weeks to cook a bit of dinner? I have never done that in my life. I prepare meals, Jerry. And I've nothing to wear. I'll serve it naked. <laughs> Would you mind very much not being quite so vulgar? Oh my God, I just remember the candelabra being replated. And we don't have oh. a new napkin in the house. All right, forget it. I'll think of something Man, else. Man, it's not a boom mic. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll manage, Jerry. A woman always does. Right, I'll pop over and tell Tom. You've got five minutes. I didn't know it was going to be a speed trial. There are a million things to do when I shall need some help. I thought you said a woman always managed. Oh my God, just look at the state of this patio. God, you ought to see that lot eat. They're not chickens at all. I think they're sold as vultures. Oh, well, never mind. I expect vultures' eggs are bigger. Eggs? They don't know the meaning of the word. I think they are, yeah. Boots. Oh. How's the goat's milk butter? I don't think goats know the meaning of the word. I'm waiting for a sort of buttery thud, and all I'm getting is a sloshing sound. Yeah. Never mind. Look, let's try it, eh? <laughs> Hang on, I guess, on. Nope. I guess you guys are the only one eating it, though. Tom? Yes? Did you wash your hands after messing about those chickens? No. <laughs> Judging from the expression on your face, you've just put your hand in something rather nasty. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry, you wouldn't understand. We're in the advanced stages of butter making here. I was just counter-agglomerating the thrake that you find at the bottom, you see? Thrake? Yes, yes. Thrake, yes. Tudor English. Um, as in Taming of the Shrew, Act 2, Scene 1. Not awfully familiar with the taming of the shrew. No, Margot does get rather a lot of her own way, doesn't she? Oh! <laughs> I'm just tolerant. I'm also a bit deaf in the air I use for Margot. <laughs> Lost my sense of smell, though. <laughs> Look, how about coming over for drinks this evening? Jerry, we are thraking. We're going to have little bits of things on sticks. Sorry, mate, too busy. I was going to open a bottle of old malt. What time do you want us? <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Six-ish? Right. Remember alcohol? Oh, we used to have that in the olden days. Do you know we haven't had a pint for a week. You think you're getting a pint of old malt? You're very much mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> bye, bye. Bye, bye. Hey, I'll tell you something. My hand's ever so soft. Oh, yeah. <laughs> see, it should be thickening, you see. Well, it's not, is it? No, it isn't. Well, it's contaminated it now. Huh? Now, lift. Right, go. <laughs> oh, hold it, hold it. What? Tom, what are we doing? I'm going to turn this into butter if it kills me. Well, it probably will with what's in there. Oh, yes. Shame, though. Well, at least we have chickens that don't lay. Yes, there is that. It's just that I don't like wasting anything anymore. Well, you can't win them all, can you? Mm. I've got it. I've got it. What? We'll recycle it. We'll Aha. give it back to the goat. <laughs> there you go. eggs in the fridge if you want them. Ah, yes, but you see, yours have got little lions on them. <laughs> and when ours arrive, when they finally arrive, they'll only have, uh, you know, on them. <laughs> yes. No! Phantom pregnancy. Damn it. We think we've got a queer cockerel. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Andy, what were you saying, Andy? Uh, uh, oh, what was I saying, Jerry? I think you were about to tell Tom something to his advantage. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes. Now, look here, Tom, I won't be about the bush. There's a desk waiting for you at JJM. You what? Yes. Has he been asking for me by name? <laughs> Tom, I'm asking for you by name. Come back 
and join us. Not in a million years, mate. I do feel you ought to think about this seriously, you know, Tom. Not many people get a second chance at 40. I've taken my second chance, and as far as being 40, when I'm 50, then I'll be 40. But we can't see you throw your life away on a lot of... <laughs> What's that? <sighs> Wrong sex. Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> You've arranged this, haven't you? Only with the very best intention. I know. Thanks very much, but no thanks. That is the most selfish thing I have ever heard. All right, Tom, if you wish to commit social suicide and ruin the neighbourhood while you're doing it, so be it. But I think it's despicable to tow poor Barbara along in your wake. Oh, I am not no barge. I know, dear, but I'm not sure you understand the implications. Now, look, your goat, dear, has he got a name? Yes, Margot. Oh. Cheer. <laughs> there it goes. I mean, this is all very Robinson Crusoe-ish, but the fact is, a man has to work. Work? They have blisters, not birthmarks. Well, an 86-hour week, you know. Well, you see, that's just my point. If you come back to JJM, you won't have to work nearly as hard. I heard that, Ledbetter. <laughs> Cheering meant manually. Anyway, we don't look on it as work. It's our way of life. I mean, it is work because we tend to collapse at the end of the day, but we don't look on it as work. Yes, if I could understand that, I'd agree with it. Well, what, what about money and all this? Well, we're using our savings up to tide us over till harvest time. In the meantime, when you can't pay the electricity bill? We thought of that. We'll go over to gas. And how do you pay for that? We don't. We make it ourselves. What is great? <laughs> Done. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, but I think the whole scheme's a load of nonsense. I wanted to do something exciting when I was young, and then I married Andrew, and that oh. was the end of that. <laughs> what you're doing now, that's really exciting. I don't know whether you'll succeed, but just trying is exciting. Felicity, you've got it in one. I like this lady. Well, I'm sorry, I've said all I'm going to say. I've said all I'm going to say. And I'm not going to say it anymore, and have my head bitten off again. Me neither, I'm leaving. No, I'm staying here. We'll just all sit here in silence. Anyone fancy a game of hide and seek? Yeah. <laughs> Let's forget it and relax. Tom, Barbara, why don't you stay for dinner? We're going to have it out here. Oh, thank you, Jerry. That's lovely. After all, it is the least we can do. I beg your pardon? Well, times are obviously very hard, and we've got plenty of food here. We don't need Oxfam relief. <laughs> oh. I am not unobservant, Tom. I do notice things. And my flies aren't done. <laughs> to Barbara this morning. Now, I didn't want to bring this up in front of other people, but uh -huh. begging leftovers is hardly a sign of affluence. You mean that shepherd's pie? The rustic pot roast. You did ask me. <laughs> True. Well, I rest my case. It was for the chickens. And they didn't like it. <laughs> well, it is surprising. One doesn't get one's A-levels in domestic science by cooking meals to please chickens. Yes, be fair. I mean, Mario's a first-rate cook. Mostly. Mark, oh. what are we having for dinner tonight? I don't really know that I want to. All right, don't. We're having asparagus and canard a la paysanne. Hey? I don't know, that means fever. Duck pieces. Really? Yes. Where do you get fresh asparagus from at this time of year? One has contacts. Oh, yes, the freezer centre. <laughs> oh, honestly, Margaret, who's not going well, on? Barbara, threw my food in my face. Oh, Margaret, we're not insulting your cooking. It's just that you're treating an invitation dinner like war on what? Oh, for heaven's sake, all they're doing is offering you a helping hand. Well, you stay out of this, Andy. Honestly, anyone would think we had to eat the seaman's mission. Exactly. In fact, and this is why we can't stick to dinner, we've got something a bit special laid on the food line ourselves tonight, haven't we, Barbara? Haven't we, Barbara? Haven't we, Barbara? Yes. See? You're bluffing, Tom. This is no bluff, mate. We've got something a bit special laid on tonight. What? A penis. <laughs> I said what? Never you mind. Something a bit special. And it's very special, actually. And I'll tell you this, it'll all be fresh and home-produced. None of your asparagus lolly ice from the fridge and some poor old duck that's lost its quack. <laughs> I certainly don't mind if you slaughter that disgusting goat. Oh, for heaven's sake. Oh, look. The sun's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Must be the influence of us little flowers. Oh, I'm sorry, Jerry. I didn't mean to be ungracious. Well, heaven help us when you do, Tom. Now, look here, Mrs. Beaton. Oh, Barbara, please. We must make allowances for Mother. After all, she's got A-level domestic science to live up to tonight. That's not going to be too easy when you're working with a dodgy tin opener. Now, if you'll excuse us, we've got a little feast of our own to whip up. Coming, darling? What are you doing all? With me? Goddamn. Well. That was awkward as shit. <laughs> Honestly, I could strangle Margot sometimes. I'm sorry, love, I just couldn't control myself any longer. Well, never mind. At least you got the last word. That's not easy with Margot. Yeah, I excel at hollow boasting. I mean, we haven't produced anything yet, have we? 
All we've got is subterranean veg and sterile chickens. <laughs> Aren't you forgetting something? We gave that back to the goat, remember? <laughs> the Matabele eat giant wood grubs, you know. Silly sods. <laughs> <laughs> well, perhaps it'll rain. That's not going to make the potatoes grow in two hours, is it? No, but it'll keep them off the patio. We could skulk about in here and eat a packet of chicken chow mein. Hey, what are we thinking about? We'll kill a chicken. Fresh roasted chicken. Dad. Oh. Yes, Doris? <laughs> now, that's not good Ambridge thinking, is it? I mean, you don't kill off one twelfth of your stock not after six hours. Quite right, Doris. Especially not just to prove a point. Quite right. Well, we don't have to prove anything to anybody. If she wants to sit up there all smug and victorious, let her. Yes, let her. Kill the chicken. We'll kill a chicken. Right. <laughs> go on, then. Me? Oh, no, no, no. I told you, I'll go bankrupt with you. I'll starve with you. I couldn't kill a chicken to save my life. Fair enough. I'll do it. Eventually. Go on, then. Yes, well, look, you don't just dash into these things. You know. <laughs> You've got to have method. For... Method, yeah. Now, look. You take the chicken by the legs and hold it upside down, right? <laughs> Automatically, it puts its head on one side. <laughs> you put the chicken on the table, put your knee in its neck and pull. <laughs> Just like that. There's a lot of the papa doc in you. Or you simply wring its neck and feel the bones cracking in your hands. You're a goddamn psychopath. Yeah. You saw the seven samurai chop its head off. Hoi-ta! <laughs> but then the headless body runs down the garden, oh, all a quivering and a gushing blood, no. and chases you round the people's oh, head. No, 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 now, there's no need to shoot yourself just because you can't kill a chicken. <laughs> Where'd you get that? All serve with an air pistol champion at the age of 11. I could do it with this. I've never heard of anyone shooting a chicken before. It's an old mafia trick. <laughs> All right, go on then. Only don't kiss it first. Bro. Chicken, I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna shoot Margo instead. Okay, sweetheart, nobody moves. <laughs> Close your eyes. I do think you're not the one with the limp. Hey, actually shot the chicken. Hope nobody will gag at Petit Marmite. <laughs> Looks just like the illustration on the tin, my dear. <laughs> I did want to apologise to you, sir, for this afternoon's little fracas. Oh, no, don't no, no, apologise, Jerry. Quite amusing in its way. Fair is absolutely mad, of course. Still, it is, um, life. Funeral. Nevertheless, <laughs> was rather a petulant display, wasn't it? I mean, all those wild claims about this fantastic home-produced meal they're supposed to be having. Well, really. <laughs> I laid out all the best sugar, darling. I lit the candles. Are you ready? Just finishing the garnish, darling. You done shot that chicken first. Ah, oh, magnificent. Nothing from the supermarket here, eh, darling? God forbid. You guys are assholes. Keep <laughs> darling. Rather, darling. a chicken from six inches. <laughs> it ducked. <laughs> anyway, we know how to make them lay now. Ah. Scare them into it. At gunpoint. Mm. Listen here, chicken. You're gonna get the eggs or you're gonna give me you. They'll be a choice. 
Well, Margot is definitely an interesting character, for sure. I can get the vibe that she's going to cause them a lot of trouble. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, I mean, probably this is probably going to be a good back and forth between them and her. She's going to meme on them. They're going to meme on her. Probably mostly them memeing on her, to be honest. But learn how to make chickens lay eggs, huh? I, I never would have known that if I hadn't watched this show. <laughs> so if you watch the beginning, or, uh, let me know what you think of what I said. Is it worth uploading the show to YouTube if I have to cut the most important scene and put it on video? Let me know. If that's it, if that's worth it, then we'll keep doing that. Um... But uh, I, I enjoyed that definitely more than the first episode. It's starting to get its groove a little bit. And uh, again, if you want to see me continue this, uh, then I'm happy to. That's going to do it for my second reaction to Good Life, though. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, be sure to like it. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch, Rest from single day, my second channel for recent reviews, my Twitter. If you will follow me, my Patreon, if you want to support me daily motion, all those things are in the description down below. Thank you to all as I'm currently recording, uh, I think, 100 of my Patrons who can support me my channel for it. You can pay on me for a little $1 or one pound. You'd exit reaction videos as well as the reading comments up to date early and your name in the description as well. Also in the description is linked to the community Reddit, as well as the daily schedule, as well as the Twitch files channel. With all that being said though, my name is Taffrey Stein. It's been my second reaction to Good Life, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.